Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at St Agatha's Church in Waldingham in Surrey, in the Surrey Hills. Beautiful old church, and one of the smallest churches in the country. The congregation now you can hold about 40 people. No mention of a church here in the Doomsday a book. First mention was around 1275, I think, something like that. But this one was uh, rebuilt around eight, the 1800s, like a lot of these old churches were. It's almost a pretty much a new church, but still beautiful. It's flint walls. In 1677, the diarist Samuel Pepys came by here and said it was a church in very much disrepair until it was rebuilt in 1832. It's so small, I mean, just walking around it. It's, uh, yeah. Look. Although very, very large uh, graveyard, very large. And of course, you can't have a churchyard without a beautiful yew tree. So the yew tree was probably here well before the church. As I said in other videos, there was probably an ancient settlement here. Could be high up on the North Downs. Uh, so there was probably a settlement here, going back to Neolithic times. Beautiful yew, yews are just such gorgeous trees. And dear Mr Jesus is armless. It's a shame. This tree's seen better days, <laughs> hollowed out. This is the third highest church in Surrey. Quite high up on the North Downs. This is about 240 feet above sea level. I'm sure all the other, the other two high churches are probably on the North Downs as well. North Downs like is a natural ridge that came over from Europe when the, before the English Channel was there, where uh, ancient man came across. Got quite a few names. North Downs Way, Pilgrim's Way for part of it. The Harrow Way, that's interesting. The Harrow Way, which is one of, they rate, one of the oldest trackways in the country. Unfortunately, it's closed. The church is open every day for prayer and quiet. Please close the door. Well, it's not. You can get a look inside though. Look how small it is. I should have bought my dowsing rods and done a little bit more dowsing for the Wessex Serpent project. I'm fascinated with ancient sites and if there are earth energy currents on those sites that flow through, which I'm sure there are. I mean, it's a big, big churchyard for such a small church. This has got to be the smallest bench I've ever seen. I mean, I mean, it's tiny. Is it just for kids? <laughs> yeah, very small. Oh, so there you go. Just a little tour around St. Agatha's in Baldingham. Shame it's not open. I might have popped inside and had a look. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you've been here. Please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you have. That'd be great. It's a nice day. It's so peaceful up here. I think I might stay a while and just do a bit of meditation. We'll see you next time. Take care.